Hi, this is Andy Moore Crispin for Gadget TV on Butterscotch.com, and today we have in the studio the Nexus One, also known as the Google Phone. So we're just going to boot it up here so you can see how long the boot up process takes. Do a quick hardware tour. So we see on the side of the device here we have a volume up and down rocker. Take a quick look at the back. We have a, a camera on the back here. This is a 5 megapixel camera capable of shooting video as well. We also have an LED flash, and this is a speaker here, so this is where the sound will actually come out. Take a quick look on the bottom. We can see a micro B USB port as well as the microphone here. And we also have three copper contacts, presumably for charging accessories that we've yet to see. You can see the boot up process continues. It'll make a chime when it's actually finished. It shouldn't be long. Take a quick look at the top. We have a power button as well as a three stage uh, port here that we can connect accessories to. So things like uh, headphones with a, in, an inline mic. And there is one of those included in the box. So you can see here, one of the features I actually quite like about this phone is this unlock pattern idea. So this is uh, unique to Android. So rather than punching in, say, a four-digit code, we can actually just paint a pattern on the screen. So in this case, we've set up our lock pattern to have a, it looks kind of like a seven. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but as I put in my lock pattern, you can actually see um, some smudges on the screen. And that's a good point, because the screen does readily accept smudges. It's, it actually gets quite irritating. It doesn't take long to, uh, to get annoying. So we can see here we have uh, live wallpaper. Now we're going to cover off a lot of features of the phone in a 10-part tutorial series that will be running on Butterscotch.com. So today we're just going to kind of keep it brief. Um, we'll give you the tech specs. It's a 3.7-inch widescreen display, 800 by 400 pi 480 pixels. Like we mentioned the 5 megapixel camera that's capable of doing video with the LED flash. It runs Android 2.1, also known as Eclair. It also has a Qualcomm QSD 8250 processor. That's a 1 gigahertz processor has 512 megs of flash memory, 512 megs of RAM, which we can't access, as well as a 4 gigabyte micro SD card included in the box. And we can expand this up to 32 gigabytes. And that's one of the things I like about uh, this phone and Android phones in general over, say, the iPhone. With the iPhone, you have to kind of decide what capacity you want when you're in the store buying it. Um, and if you're trying to save a little bit of money, you might end up with an 8 gigabyte model when, you know, in a couple months' time, you probably realize that you really should have gone for the 16 or maybe even the 32. So we're just going to cover off one very quick thing. Um, it's kind of one of my favorite features of the phone, even, even though it's a pretty simple feature. And that's called live wallpapers. We see here we have the first home screen. It's been slightly customized. Usually this browser will be in the menu here. We'll cover off how to make shortcuts in the 10-part video tutorial series that will run on butterscotch.com. But you can see here, rather than a static wallpaper, we actually have something that's moving. And if we slide over to some of the other home screens, you can see that our perspective on this, this one's called Galaxy. Our perspective on the Galaxy changes. It's pretty neat. One of the other things we like is that if we hold our, or hold our finger on the touch screen here, we can actually bring up uh, widgets, which are live updated um, just little applets that will run on the home screen. Anytime we open up our phone, we can get, for example, the weather. Or we can see here that this is one of the pre-built ones, which is a Google search bar. Now, as we mentioned, the screen does take fingerprints too easily. We do like the fact that the, uh, the touch screen is so responsive. It, it really does respond well to the touch. It's got noise cancellation technology built in, which means um, if you're on, a, say, a loud street, uh, you'll have clearer conversations. Now, one of the strange things is that there's no video player actually built into this thing. The codecs for playing video are built in, but you will have to go into the Android market, which you can see the, app, the uh, shortcut here. You'll have to go into the Android market and actually download a third-party um, video application, which we thought was kind of strange. So that's a quick look at the Nexus One, and be sure to tune in to our 10-part tutorial on Butterscotch.com for much, much, much more detail on this phone. For Gadget TV, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. For more sweet stuff, visit Butterscotch.com.